Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. I'm pretty excited to be doing one of these videos for you. It's definitely been a long time since I have done a favorites video or obsessions video. As we all are very much aware, it's a very weird time that the world is in right now. So these are going to be a few of the things that I really enjoy using during this time. Obsessions that I've had for a while, but definitely things that are keeping me going through these times. So if you want to see what my current obsessions are, then keep watching. Herman's my current obsession. So hands up if you are one of those people that are wearing makeup and getting dressed during this time, maybe doing your hair, putting some jewels on. Uh, I definitely haven't done it every day, that's for sure. I've been enjoying not getting dolled up during this downtime and giving my skin a little bit of a break, but I've still been enjoying getting ready and wearing makeup, uh, but I've definitely been concentrating a little more on skincare during this time and just trying to let my skin breathe. Some of us are not wearing makeup at all and our skin is doing amazing, but for some of us, we are stressed right now and that can definitely take a toll on your skin. But this is a product that I have been using for maybe a few months now. This is the Air NYC African Black Soap Active Face Wash. This stuff is an absolute lifesaver if you have breakouts. Because it is a pretty astringent product, I don't use it every day because I will dry my skin out, but if I am having an active breakout, I'll use this at nighttime and it is fantastic. Someone that I know, Princey, he also uses it on the body as well. It's great for body breakouts too. Shout out to Prince, I told you there'd be one in there, buddy. So the Air Active Face Wash African Black Soap, if you're prone to breakouts, absolutely love it. Another product that I've been really loving lately when I do have an active breakout as a spot treatment is this Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum. For a while now, I had a massive amount of samples of this, uh, I think it was like a prescription retinol or something for clearing up acne and I ran out of that. I was using tea tree oil for a little bit but this is more superior to the tea tree oil. I really like that it's not white or really shiny so you can wear it in the daytime if you're wearing no makeup as well. If you've got active breakouts just a little spot treatment just grab a little and put it wherever your spots are and guaranteed they will be cleared up within two days. Another thing that I'm sure a lot of us have all been doing is taking mask selfies. Uh, one thing that I have been trying to do during this time is to support small businesses. So this is a clay mask from the brand Detroit Rose. This is a Detroit based company, a very small indie company with all clean and cruelty free beauty products. Uh, so this is the detox mask. It's French green clay mask and I love, it literally has two ingredients in it. French green clay and kale and kay clay. So a clay mask is great for drawing out impurities in the skin. If you have a little bit of a breakout or you need to shrink your pores, a clay mask is fantastic for this and I've been thoroughly enjoying this Detroit Rose Detox Mask. You just mix it in with a little bit of water and paint your face with it and then it turns like a greenish color and then you take a mask selfie and then your skin's all poreless and clear afterwards. So speaking of small businesses, another small business that I am loving right now is Ana Luisa Jewelry. This is a small indie jewelry brand based in New York. And the thing that I love the most about them is that they are very transparent with their sustainability with making jewelry. That is something that I always think about when it comes to clothing is sustainability and ethical practices but I've never really thought of it in terms of jewelry. So a lot of the pieces on Ana Luisa are gold and I know that gold is very trendy right now, but the main thing that I love about them is that they use all 
100% recycled gold. There is already enough gold in this world without having to go and mine more. So everything that you see that is gold on their website is 100% recycled. Their silver, as you can see, I'm wearing right now this hoop and bracelet is all the 92.5 pure silver and it's rhodium plated as well so it won't tarnish and will last a really long time. So I'm wearing the Tia medium hoops right now and I chose these earrings because I love just a really chunky statement of silver especially when I'm wearing maybe a band t-shirt and some of my big chunky rings. I really love that big bold kind of in your face hoop. I also really love these ones because I've had chunky hoops before and they can be super weighty on your ears but these ones are really nice and light. The other piece that I'm wearing from Ana Luisa is this Michelle bracelet. It's just a really nice dainty silver chain bracelet and I do love to wear these with a few other bracelets stacked on the wrist. Very Sammy Jeff coat style. The main thing that I love about this brand is that they have committed to 100% carbon neutral business by the end of 2020. I love that brands do this as well, being very transparent with their practices and also making a promise to better themselves by a certain amount of time. So the prices on the jewelry are not super expensive. They start from $39 and they don't have a really crazy high markup. I'm going to leave a discount code below for you guys to use. Here's a little close up of those pieces as well. Don't worry guys, I haven't completely skipped out on makeup. So one thing that I'm not sure if I've added this into my obsessions before, but I have just almost read out of this. Uh, this is the Stella Beauty Limitless Foundation. I don't know why I don't give this foundation more love, but every time I put it on, it makes my skin look so freaking good. I'm absolutely obsessed with this foundation. So my friend Scully Smith from California told me about this foundation because it is clean, vegan, and cruelty free. And I bought it a long time ago, but I think the reason why I don't use it all the time is because it only matches me when I'm a little bit tanned. It's got a little more color than I'm used to, but, but seeing as I'm out in the sun a little bit more, walking the puppies a lot during quarantine. This is my perfect shade right now. I'm bummed that it's almost out and this may be something that I repurchase later when I have a job. Um, but for now, I'm trying to get through and use all of the makeup that I already have because I have so much. While we're still talking about makeup, this is one of the shades that I have almost hit pan on. This is ColourPop Waddles Super Shock Shadow. It's just a really nice peachy, easy shade. I literally just put it on with my finger. It's kind of like my work shade or now it's just my being at home and don't want to look like a total troll, want to feel good about myself shade. So that is ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Wattles. I really need to try some more ColourPop stuff. So one thing that has been keeping me going during this time, it was probably my first purchase package that I got in lockdown and that is my Petite Vore subscription. So if you're not familiar with Petite Vore, it is a vegan, clean and cruelty free subscription box. I will leave the link below for you, but a lot of the products that I'm showing you have come from Petite Vore because like I said, I'm not really buying much new stuff right now and I've also kind of put the stop on getting sent a lot of sponsored or PR stuff. But this Meta skincare hand cream has been an absolute lifesaver for me right now. This is called the Comforting Hand Balm. It smells so freaking good. As you are probably all very aware, we have dry hands right now from washing, washing, washing our hands. So this has been such a relief for my hands to not get all crackly and dry and sore. Um, so I've just been popping this in my side table beside my lounge and it, it smells so good. The thing is with hand balms, it's really hard to find without lanolin or beeswax in it. So I love that all of the stuff that Petite Vore sends with their subscription 
is just already vegan and cruelty free. So I found lots of great small indie clean brands through that subscription and Meta is one of them. I'm pretty, pretty sure they're Australian as well. Flemington, Victoria, Australia, handmade in Melbourne. There you go. Another thing that I've been getting a ton of use out of is this Madame LeMay all natural powder deodorant formula. So I was sent this a while ago and I was using it in winter. It's a great winter deodorant. It's not a go to spin class and sweat deodorant or even take the puppies on a fast walk deodorant. But I've found that it's the perfect at home deodorant. I've also been putting it on after a shower at nighttime because I feel a little bit weird about putting like a roll on deodorant under my arms before bed because it's not like I'm going to get crazy sweaty or anything but you know sometimes you get hot when you're sleeping and you don't want to wake up and like be stinky so this is just like a little powder puff powder deodorant and this one is lavender scented I'm sure there's other scents uh, but it's just a really nice soft deodorant for when you're not being crazy active and you don't want to be stinky so that one has come in handy a lot right now. I don't know if you can hear Herman snoring. Another product that I'm obsessed with and that is the Bite Agave Lip Mask. I've been using this and their Night Treatment Balm, which is actually just right here. Nighttime Lip Therapy. I love that Bite, uh, well, they're one of the original clean brands from Sephora before clean was even like a buzzword. They used to have, I think, lanolin or beeswax in their products but pretty much all of their products all of their new stuff that they've come out with lately is all vegan props to them for changing that noticing the market actually cares about vegan products so just daily and every night i apply either one of those just to keep my lips nice and moisturized and not chapped. So since we've been in lockdown, I have definitely done way more of my own cooking and I'm always looking at different ways to kind of spice everything up. I've been loving this Soul Sisters kimchi seasoning. You can basically put it on everything. I've been using it to literally spice up my Buddha bowls that I've been making. So some brown rice, some steamed kale. I've been sprinkling this over my tempeh and it is so, so, so yummy. I haven't done it yet, but my hubby's been definitely into Bloody Marys during quarantine. And I think it will be really great to rim the Bloody Mary cup with a little bit of the seasoning as well. Obviously, it's vegan. Everything on this channel is vegan. It's plant-based, non-GMO, and the best thing about it is that it has probiotics, which we could all use a little extra good gut health, especially right now. It's definitely a little bit on the spicy side, but it has that tangy, fermented, yummy kimchi seasoning flavor to it. So if you can't afford the real kimchi or can't make it yourself. This is a great thing to sprinkle over some boring vegetables and rice and give it a little bit of kick. So other than cooking, 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 and eating so much, I've also been reading during this downtime. And this is the book that I'm currently reading, Man's Search for Meaning. It's a really great book. It's obviously a very small book. Um, it's a little bit more of a heavy read, but the heaviness of it will, I know that in the end, when you hear the meaning of the book, it's going to outweigh that. It's one of my husband's best friend's favorite books that was recommended to me. And I think now is a better time than ever to be reading it. The author from it was in Auschwitz. So the heaviness of being in a concentration camp makes this seem like a freaking walk in the park. I know that right now isn't a walk in the park for everyone, but it definitely puts things into perspective, at least for me. So I highly recommend Man's Search for Meaning if you feel like you need that kind of motivation in your life. Another hardcover book that I did just finish recently was called She's Come Undone, and that was absolutely brilliant. Uh, that was one that I found really easy to read. It was kind of one of those can't put down books. So I recommend that one. I can't really describe it to you because it will just give everything away, but it's 
definitely more of a dark humor for sure. Herman was due for his groomer's cut, but obviously it got canceled. So he's a scruffy bubby right now. Are you so sweepy? Did I wake you up from your nap? For TV shows, I have really been loving Wentworth. I've been binging on that right now because there's about seven seasons. So uh, it's, it's good. I like a, a show that you know isn't going to run out straight away, especially during these times. So that's on Netflix and I've really enjoyed it. I've also enjoyed sending Australian translations through to my friends, uh, Molgoth, my friend Lauren from Salem. She, <laughs> So it's, let me tell you what Wentworth's about before I even go on about this. Uh, so Wentworth is based in an Australian prison. So it's, you know, women prisoners. So they're, they have definitely a little more of a rough Australian vocabulary. Uh, so for Americans watching it, I'm like, how do you understand anything that they're saying? Like the other day, uh, she called something festy. So I text my friend Lauren and I was like, just so you know, festy means like kind of gross. I think it might originate from the word festering. Uh, there's other things like Australians, if they're gonna have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, we call it, do you wanna have a cuppa? Which means, would you like to have a cup of coffee with me? Just little things like that. It's funny, but it makes me remember all of those old Australian words, cause obviously I'm not around it anymore living in America, but it's just funny kind of thinking, how does anyone understand what they mean at all? Cause Australians have a lot of slang. But other than the slang, it's just a really well-written show. It's definitely dramatic. It's a little more of a serious show, but it's like Orange is the New Black, but a million times better. So one fun, goofy thing that my husband and I have been doing is uh, a Nicolas Cage movie marathon. So we're calling it Cage in a Cage. It's kind of our uh, quarantine, silly thing that we're doing. So before uh, all of this started, we saw the movie The Color of Space, which was definitely one of the crazier Nicolas Cage movies. Previous to that, we saw Mandy, which is a film that I really, really liked. So both of those films were very visually inspiring. One of my favorites, didn't know it till I saw it just the other day, is the Nicolas Cage movie, Wild at Heart. If you are a fan of true romance, you will absolutely love this cool 80s movie. It's very quirky. It's a, it's a David Lynch film, but it's not as weird as most David Lynch films, but this is one of my favorites. So if you do end up doing cage in a cage, make sure you take a snap and send it to me and use that hashtag on Instagram. Let, let's start a thing. I highly doubt it would pick up, but Nicolas Cage is, he's kind of awesome. I'm, I'm into it. If you're looking for something to do, uh, a themed movie marathon is definitely a lot of fun. Get your friends in on it, get your Instagram friends in on it, get your YouTube friends in on it. If you end up doing cage in a cage, Hashtag me, tag me, I'd love to see that. So one last thing that I did want to mention, I'm sure by the time I get this video up, you will have all seen the hacks of the bandana face mask. I have had this Chelsea Wolf bandana from her tour that she just recently did and you can very easily make a face mask out of it. I made an Instagram TV video about how to do that. So I'll leave that in the description box below. She is still selling these bandanas right now. Our musicians right now have had to cancel so many tours. They're not selling merch. That's how they make money. So if you have the ability to be able to afford anything right now, I strongly recommend grabbing one of these Chelsea Wolf bandanas. Or if you already have your own bandana at home, hopefully you can find the tutorial helpful to make one. Obviously this does not replace a surgical mask or an N95 mask, but those should be saved for our healthcare professionals. So the CDC is recommending to wear some kind of cloth mask when you're out and you can't be social distancing. Some tips to amp up this mask as well. You can put coffee filters 
in here and you can also put vacuum filters in here if you want a little bit more of a protection that will make it more like a surgical mask uh, but basically for now if you don't have a better option making a cloth mask out of a bandana is a really good option if you do have to leave the house so that my friends wraps up my obsessions for right now during these weird times uh, i hope that you have enjoyed this video and as always i am going to leave links to everything that i've mentioned down below do receive a tiny affiliate commission on some of these so if you do end up purchasing anything i find I greatly appreciate if you use the links that I've supplied for you. I always try to find the cheapest ones mentioning the products that I've used for you below. So that's super, super helpful for myself during this time and any other creator that is creating things for you to enjoy. I'm also going to leave a link for the Ana Luisa jewelry and that coupon code for Mother's Day, which is coming up soon. Yes, leave me recommendations for books TV shows, movies, anything else that you can think of below. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in. I miss you guys a lot. I have been in a little bit of a creative slump right now. I felt like during this time I would just be busting out videos every single day and doing crazy looks again, but I haven't really felt like it. And if that's you as well, if you're feeling that same kind of way, don't worry too much about it. This is this is a weird time that we're all going through and it's okay to not pr be productive and just, you know, binge watch Netflix for 10 hours if you want. Just do that. Don't have any expectations right now. Just do whatever feels best for you. I hope that everyone, I really, truly, truly hope that everyone's safe and healthy and happy. Uh, yeah. Keep it together guys, be strong, be nice to everyone, and I'll see you guys in the comments below.